Hi guys, TCG Striker here, and today we're back with another video. Uh, sorry for not having a video uploaded yesterday. I had some personal problems pop up that prevented me from uploading, but you know what? Let's not drag on any longer. Let's start up the video. It is going to be a speed art today. Um, I just can't really record anything else right now. And also, sorry that we're kind of jumping in here on this art. I don't know why, but the, it just didn't want to record this morning when I was recording. So, but I finally got it to record, so we're going to watch it from here. Uh, basically, I gave this thing an undershade of yellow, which kind of makes it give that effect of, um, you know, kind of like the sun, sun shining on it and like a little bit of that yellow's popping out from the brown fur. Because bears have that effect with their fur um, and then I'm also using a dark brown to do all the shading on here and then his fur is just a normal brown uh, if you guys might notice he has a unique symbol on his shield that is because it's going to be a rival faction in the nature tribe which is run by a card that you've already seen if you guys think you know which one it is, uh, go ahead and leave it in the description below. And if you guess right, then congratulations, I can't really offer a prize. <laughs> but, yeah, there we go. And now we're starting on the next card. Which, like I'm just trying to draw it here. This card's going to be for the slime archetype. You see right there, I was just making sure that the edges were... All lined up then as I draw it just kind of then I'm outlining it in green because you guys know I like doing the colored outlines because I think I think they look nice because I'm not using um, markers I'm using colored pencils instead and when you do the colored outlines it kind of makes the colors pop a little bit more but if you're using markers I'd recommend you do the black outline and there we go I'm just coloring in the little stripes on the boomerang and getting off all those all the pencil off the drawing and then there I was just like making sure I didn't get it smudge it at all and right now I spent way too much time testing out colors because I couldn't decide what color to make it. Uh, yeah, I see. I'm just you guys can't see it, but I'm like the whole top of the papers like has shades of stuff on it. <laughs> and there I go. I'm coloring it in brown. I colored in the edges that weren't covered by the slime darker than the ones that were, because when you get a really dark color on the thing. It doesn't really want to, like, it show up other ones. So yeah, you see here, I'm then I'm coloring the whole thing in green, which takes a while, and I actually used a lot of this colored pencil, so it's a little bit dull. So I'm going to sharpen it in just a second. Yeah, like I'm sharpening it right now. I got my box cutter. I'm just kind of cutting away at it. And there we go. Like I have this sped up so fast because. I'm just not really a fast artist, and I don't feel like making you guys sit through the long wait that it would take me to show you off, show you like everything at normal speed. And now you see here, I'm just giving it an outline with a dark green, which kind of makes it gives like a little bit of a 3D effect to it, which looks really nice. So yeah, there we go. Now, I'm going to show you guys the final version of those cards in just a second, but I just want to remind you guys that there is only four days left to enter into the contest. So if you guys want to enter the contest, there will be a link to the video, and also I'll put my email down there below if you want to enter. But yeah, uh, that's all I have for you guys this week. Um, you know what, if you guys like the video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up, and if you like my game, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, it has been 
way too long now, so I'm gonna let you guys go back to your day. Have a fantastic Saturday, and I'll see you in four days. Okay, bye.